hogfish. Look at that guy. It's not hog season. It's not hog season yet. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but we don't harvest them that much. And this guy's small. This guy's like 12 at best. Look at that. Pooping all over me. Let's let this guy go. We got some laying. a fish on. Probably a vermi. Slowing the reel. Probably have one vermi. Yep, yep we got a vermi. It's a fat one. What? It's a juicy vermi. Keeper? Yeah, he's keeper for sure. Nice. A nice one. Let's see how big he is on the ruler. He is 13, oh my, yeah, 13. I don't, he's big enough. I know he's legal when I see them. Nice, a thick one. We are letting it back down. We got a second one on. Jack, maybe. Maybe it's a monster yellow eye. Maybe. Maybe it's a red snapper. <laughs> That'd be funny. I don't know if I'd keep one. Why? I mean, I guess. There's a ton in the Gulf. There's no season, they have to be 20. Okay, here we go. Showtime. Grab the leader and hand line for you. Oh, it's a jack. Or is that a red? No, it's a reef donkey. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, it's a big aunt, AJ. He's nice. It's a beast. You know who? There he goes. Okay, we got amberjack. Vermi, lead, and reel all in one piece. There's a whole bunch of sharks down there, so I need a good photo of an amberjack. So. Okay, let's first. It is the next day, and we have our fish sitting on the brine. Okay. We are releasing this.
Now that we have our chopped lean snapper, we are going to put it into a large bowl. Next, we're going to cut half an onion. Now that we have a little bit less than half an onion, we're going to mince this finely. Next, we are going to add our onions into the bowl. Sorry, I'm trying to do this all one hand. But in a mortar and pestle, we're going to add in some peppercorns, mustard seeds, and some red fish magic. takes a second for this to come out. Wait, oh, there is one of these. I won't open though. Well, the whole top came off, so it's okay. I have a feeling a lot of it's gonna come out at once, but yeah, that's about good enough. Let's crush these up. We are going to add these seasonings to the burger. I'm just going to do a little bit at a time. We are going to squirt in some mayonnaise, if I can get it out of the bottle. Okay, there we go, with one hand. Now we add in some panko, which is very hard to do with one hand. I'll just put the camera down here and you can watch. You want to put in a decent amount because that's what's keeping the fish stuck together along with an egg. Let's see if I can do a one-handed egg crack. This is not going well. Go in. How do people do this? Okay, I did it. Kind of. Okay, let me just check for shells. I don't see anything. Okay. Now we are going to combine this all together. Here I have two cloves of garlic that I just mashed up in this mortar and pestle with some seasoning that we made earlier. The mustard seed, peppercorn, and redfish magic. Next, I will add the juice of one-third, I would say, of a lemon. Here we have our burger molds for those burgers. I think we'll go with five. I doubt we'll use six. Probably five is too many. I think we'll do four, but just in case. Rubbing in all the oil, and then we're going to put our burgers in. I know this angle might not be the best, but this is the easiest way for me to do this. So I'm just going to grab it and pack it down until it meets the top. We'll leave a little bit of overflow because they do shrink when they cook. Now I'm going to cover these with some plastic wrap. Now I will cover these burgers with some plastic wrap. will go into the fridge for about 20 to 30 minutes. And here I have those thick pieces of bread that I baked the other day. I will play a clip of that right now. Here is our loaf of bread. Oh, this looks great. This is made out of cashew milk, and so it's a cashew milk bread. It looks great. I'm gonna turn this into burgers, fish burgers, buns, hopefully. Okay, I have my tomatoes here, and I'm just gonna cut these into some circles, I think. Yeah, circles. We also have some red head lettuce here with our sliced tomatoes. Now that we have our loaves of bread, the loaf of bread, I am going to cut them down the middle. Now that our burgers have been chilling for a little while, let's go and take the plastic wrap off. Okay, I'm going to turn on the pan with a cast iron skillet. 
to about 6.5. I don't know why it flashes so much. Oh, there we go. It doesn't flash. Wait, what? Oh, I touched one. Okay. Let's wait for the skillet to heat up. Once the pan is hot enough, you can go in and add a good amount of butter. Probably a little under a tablespoon. Okay, we'll just let that melt in the middle. Now that our pan is up to temperature, we're going to add in our burgers. Let's see how this works out. Okay, just popping them out into my hand, coming out of the mold, and they look great. I'm pop them in. Right on. I have some rosemary from our garden, and I'm going to put that in the butter. I know that they're done, but when you can look in here, you see no pink. Let's get these off onto a plate. I am going to just try and set up one of these burgers. So I have one bun that just came right out of the oven. It has a nice crust, but look at that. I don't know if you can hear that, but it sounds very crispy on the outside, very juicy on the inside. 